Here's my mama, everybody. She's going to be making her meatloaf for y'all since everybody's been requesting it. And here's all the ingredients. I'll let her explain everything to you now. Hello, here we are back again, and we're doing the meatloaf that everybody's requesting. This is the way my mom makes it, so this is the way I make it. You know. um, people have been asking me about my aprons. I make them myself. Uh, they're nothing fancy. Uh, they're just serve the purpose. I just hand sew them, and um, that's it. And uh, they want to know where I got my dresses from so that they couldn't find dresses. This is, uh, let me see if I don't tie my dress. This is a women's within dress. And I get all my dresses there because they have pockets. I love pockets. So that's uh, where I get my dresses. And they want to know where we get Hudson, Hudson cream flour at. You can uh, go to Kroger's and get Hudson cream flour. Here in West Virginia you can. And I get mine at a local uh, family store. It's called Rick's. So, but... Uh, we're going to be making our meatloaf today. And it's simple. I make everything simple. Might not be real healthy, but this is the way I cook. <laughs> I take my hamburger, put it in my bowl, and you have to use your hands for this. So you have to have clean hands. They're not too clean after you get through, though. And you put two eggs in it. And then you put some oats in it, uh, about a cup and a half. And then I put a lot of onions in mine. So here's my chopped up onions. I put a lot of onions in it. My husband loves onions. So this is three onions right here. And then I had two peppers. I like the peppers and I like the pepper taste. So you put all that in there. You put your salt and pepper in there. Let's put that in there. Put your salt and pepper in here. And then I use ketchup. Some people use um, tomato sauce, but I like it better with ketchup. So I put this in here. I'll probably use this whole jar of a container of uh, ketchup. And then this is where... You just gotta get in there and... Gotta get in there and work it. And I gotta stand up to do it. I've been having a lot of problems with my hips and knees, I have arthritis in them. Corey does most of my shopping for me, him and his uh, pawpaw. So, but I went today and I kind of wore myself out. But uh, we got company coming this evening. We're doing, we're doing our um, God's uh, True Word broadcast. We do it every Monday. So, so I got a lot on my plate today. And it's been raining bad here. Yeah, you just get in here and you mix it all up real good. And if you think you need to add a little bit of more oats, you can go ahead and add it. That holds it together. The eggs and that holds it together. And then I put it in my oven on about 400. And I kind of watch it. Uh, about every 20 minutes, I'll go and check it. And uh, after it gets almost done, I put ketchup on top of it. And uh, then put it back in there for a few minutes. But the way you tell it's done, it'll be cracking on top a little bit. If y'all still watching out this part, make sure to like and subscribe. And if y'all get this video to 10,000 likes, we'll do a giveaway. We'll, 
we'll pick a random subscriber. If you like and subscribe to the video, we'll pick a random one to, and we'll send you an apron or something. Yeah. A homemade apron. And if you want us to, we'll sign it for you. But just get us to 10,000 likes and we'll, we'll start doing giveaways and stuff. 10,000 likes or subscribes? What is that? 10,000 likes. That's likes. thumbs up. Oh. See, so I don't know nothing about this. <laughs> so just hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to be entered into the giveaway. Okay, I want to put some more of this in there. Let's put some more of this in there. I think I need to get me a bigger bowl. Yeah, we're going. I'm going to take y'all out to the barn one day, chicken house. Show you my chickens again. Last year, I got me an incubator. And last year, I incubated about, what was it, Corey? About 30 or 40 chickens. Yeah. Little baby chickens. And they're just now starting to lay. And then, this year, no, it was last year they laid. This year, I hatched out about 30. And uh, they'll be laying this fall sometime. My husband told me, he said, enough is enough. So, the people want uh, farm fresh eggs, so they buy my eggs. And that feeds my chickens. So, man. Now I'm going to have to add some more of this. So, you just have to eyeball it. As Corey says, I do. Yeah, you gotta make sure it's the right consistency. Yeah. You could tell, you know, after it gets the right consistency. If it's too dry, add ketchup. And if it's if it's too, too wet, wet, then you add the oats. Yes. Good, Corey. See, he's catching on how my mom cooks. And I know y'all been wanting to see Corey. He said y'all would have to go. Yeah, to go, <laughs> go back onto my playlist. It says all videos, non-shorts, and okay, and you could see me there. I'm, we're videoing. Going in or where Dad's at? If you go back to the playlist, and it, it'll say all videos, non-shorts, and you could see me there. And I have a video of me being baptized there and me shooting all my guns there. Yeah. Y'all can watch those and leave a like on it and subscribe. Yeah, it's a good thing he had those guns because we had a family of raccoons that was going in my chicken house and stealing my eggs. So we had to shoot some of them. I didn't cook them though. Yeah. Only, only kind of wild animal I cook is a squirrel and deer. And uh, my son's my oldest son, he died about two years ago. He was the one that was a deer hunter. And uh, he got all of our deer for us. But uh, deer meat's good. It's real good canned. And uh, so I think this is about right. Like this. They just got to dig in. And somebody want to know how me and my husband met. We went, we've always went to school together because we live in the same holler. That's what you call it here in West Virginia, is hollers. And uh, then we started dating when I was in high school. Uh, when, so, but we've always known each other. His, my family knew his family and his family knew us and we used to play together when we was in grade school we never once back then thought that we was going to be dating and get married and you just put it in your pan like this 
So you need a, one big square pan and one big bowl. And I don't know what size this is. I didn't look. I just eyeball everything, the pans and everything. And when you put some in there, if you have some left over, just get you a little pan and put it in there. Just keep adding it in there. Keep it about an inch down from the top, half inch, something like that. Just so it won't spill over into your oven. Most time I put a, a cookie sheet or something underneath it. A lot of stuff that I cook or bake. I think I can get it all in there. God is good. And he stretches everything for you too. I have two other people coming today that's gonna help us on our broadcast. One lady sings, and then me and my husband and Richard, we preach. So that's what God called us to do. So that's what we do. Okay, now this is it. This is my uh, meatloaf. This is the way I make it. I put a little bit of this on top. Do this. This is the way my mom showed me to do it. Use your hands. She said, that's what God gave you your hands for. for. Okay, that's it. And uh, just put it in the oven on 400. When you see cracks coming in it. Get your towel. If you want to wipe your hands. Yeah. When you see cracks coming in it, you know it's done when it starts cracking open. Or if it starts to look like it's brown or burnt around the sides, that's how you tell it's done. You take it out. You put a little bit of more ketchup on top of it like I did just now. Put it back in there. Five, ten minutes. Whatever looks good. And that's your meatloaf for today. And I'll show an end product of it in the title picture so you'll be able to see what it looks like afterwards. And I thank y'all for all your comments. I appreciate it. And I'm all your grandmas, I guess. Everybody wants to adopt me, so you can go ahead and adopt me. Can they adopt me, Corey? Sure. <laughs> Just got to share. You share your grandma, Corey. <laughs> yeah, you got to be nice and share. <laughs> That's right. Okay, we love y'all. God bless you. Take care. Make sure to like and subscribe.